welcome back to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well and enjoying this weather but staying safe and not getting sunburned like i did this video is my favorites for june and a couple of jog ons there's quite a lot it's quite random there's not a lot of makeup just because i haven't been wearing much makeup this month at all um so yeah we're just going to jump in because there is lots uh, my first thing is the dress that i'm currently wearing i got this from ebay i found it via instagram on charlie taylor's page i'll link her down below she posted a picture of herself wearing one she's got i think it's like blue check and i was like oh my god that dress is gorgeous and then she said it was like eight pound fifty from ebay so i followed the link there was loads of different designs and i chose this one um i got the one that was like a 10 to 12 and it fits really really nicely my boobs are a 38 double d and like it fits them fine it's got pockets which is what i look for in all dresses it's on me it comes down just below the knee and it's kind of like an a-line skirt but i am only five foot two so i think if you're a bit taller it would probably be knee length but yeah there's lots of different designs lightning lass has just got one as well she looks fit in hers um <laughs> yeah i'll link it down below for you but i really really like it and i feel really comfortable in it and it's just a really nice summer dress and i'm tempted to get more designs for holiday um next up is something for the kids now i wanted to show you these little i wanted to film this video earlier but i didn't and then the kids wore these and so it's wet um and it is a little sunsuit and it's like a it's cosy material it's from sainsbury's um, and it's got the, uh, it's got like a, kind of like a sunscreeny thing. And I don't really understand how it works, but it's, it's like added sun protection. Um, and I think they're around about £10. My auntie got them for the girls and they're just so cute. This is Aria's. Mika's still wearing hers because she's outside still. And then along with that, they've been wearing these little hats. And again, this is like cosy material. The, the peak is firmer, so it actually stays up. And then it covers all their neck and their ears. And this is from Boots and it's the mini club. This is one to three years. Um, and I think I got Mika's for three to six years. But they're really nice so you can get them wet and, and then they'll keep them cool as well on their neck. But I really, really like them. And I think these were around about £6 each. I will link them down below if I can find them again. But I have had them for a little while but they've only just started wearing them. I just think they're really cute. So they're all ready for holiday. Ooh, what have we got next? gonna go my peace lily <laughs> this is a really random one but when we were trying to like dress the house for sale um i read and i read everywhere and people were saying house plants house plants house plants because it makes everything look brighter so i bought one of these from asda for two pound fifty for the plant and then two pound fifty for the pot um and i put it on the dining room table and i just loved it absolutely loved it it kind of just like sparked something in me that was like oh, i just want all the house plants now i've now got three of these throughout the house in the same little buckets because i just think they're really cute and they're metal so they don't you don't have to like worry about them leaking or anything um but i just think they're gorgeous and they're affordable and they clean the air apparently and ben's got asthma so it's always nice to have things that are going to make the air quality of the house better so yeah i've got a little bit of a love of house plants now i've said to my mum she ever wants to buy me a present she can just buy me a big old plant because they make me happy uh next up we've got some citronella candles um i can't remember where i got these from i will try and link something similar um but these are like the ones that you can put outdoors as well because they're just in foil and they're really good for the mozzies because mozzies like to eat me if anyone has seen my instagram stories this week you will have seen all of my 16 mozzie bites that i got in one day mozzie and horsefly bites so i burn one of these every day at the moment um and this one will burn for like two days obviously i blow it out at night time but it'll last for around about two days and i think they were three pounds for four i think um but yeah i really really like these and then i think i've got one final non skincare makeup item and it's my new bath mat look at this oh my god i love it it's from asda it was nine quid and i got it because when again when we were trying to dress the house our bathroom is white with um like gray detailing and i just wanted something bright and it is so soft and fat and fluffy i love it so i'm really really happy with this in the new house i'm going to get one for the bathroom and then for the ensuite as well because they're just so pretty 
yes and they're affordable like nine quid i don't think it's bad um we'll see how long it lasts but my last one was cost me like seven quid from the range i think and it just went really thin really quickly so i'm hoping this one will stay nice and fluffy for ages all right let's move on um where should we start we're going to start with mozzie repellent um i have been using this one that i got from home bargains uh it was i think this was 2.99 this is nearly all gone i need to get another one for holiday uh this is the kids one it smells amazing it smells like citronella and i want to say lemongrass oh it just smells so so good and i have been drenching me and the kids in this every single day like the day i got bit and i covered the kids in it and i forgot to put it on myself and i literally got 16 bites in one day and my arm was swollen my leg was swollen it was horse bites and mozzies and just horribleness um so yeah we've been using this every single day now and i've got another one that's got deet in it but the smell just makes me feel sick so yeah i'm just gonna stock up on these if you've got a home bargain to near you they're really really good like the day that i literally got eaten the girls were in the same place as me and with this one and they didn't get one bite so yes following on from that i have got oh it's the same brand actually i didn't realize ben's mum gave me this this is an expel tropical formula bite and sting relief pen um because i do get bitten so often like if, when, even when it's not summer if there's a mozzie they will find me and they will bite me um, and it just happens every single time and this is a little like spritzer that you just spray on it and it takes the stings like the soreness away um yeah and you continue to apply until irritation ceases you can use it on the kids if they're three and above so it's really handy i'm going to get another one to take on holiday because even though i'll have the mozzie spray there's guaranteed to get me somewhere like i after i got bitten i wore proper shoes because i was like oh, they always bite me on my feet and i sprayed my feet on the tops and then put proper shoes on and they managed to bite me underneath where my shoe was so this is really handy for me if you're like me and get eaten get one of these um what next let's go on to sun care uh, for the kids at the moment i'm just using a spray one for their bodies but for their faces this is really really good um it's by who's it by sultan so it's boots and oh it's got five star UVA and UVB, um, no UVA, yeah UVA and UVB, blah, 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 all the good, it's got all five stars, um, and it's basically a little roll on stick, so you just, and it's really good for their faces, they don't mind me doing it at all, which is always nice, because they really, really hate having the sun cream on their faces, and I don't blame them, because I don't like having it on my face either, um, yeah, so it's, 50 plus SPF UVB and then it's got five star UVA protection as well um, and I got this from Boots. Next up is my one which is the Polar Velvety Sun Fluid Face and Body. I've been using this every single day since I got it. My mum got this in her Birch box and it's amazing. It, like, it feels lovely on your face. My skin is so soft since using this. I've been using my normal moisturiser um, at night times but I've just been using this in the daytime. And my skin feels lovely it doesn't feel greasy it doesn't clog your pores and it is expensive i think a 200 ml bottle this is 20 ml so it's only a sample but a 200 ml bottle i think is 20 pounds but it's only going to go on your face so it's going to last fling and flang and ages so i will 100 percent be buying a full size one of these when this runs out because it's the best one i've had so far so yes 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 uh deodorant now because i'm a sweaty 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 girl um this is in my favorite every summer it's the sure maximum protection stick thing these are about five and they're really expensive um i get the clean scent one and you just twist it and then like this cream comes out uh it doesn't it smells nice it just smells like clean linen but it stops you it doesn't i don't really know how it works but it just i'm always sweaty i don't smell i just sweat a lot and it stops me having sweaty armpits basically that was gross i know but everyone gets sweaty bits in the summer don't care who you are everybody gets sweaty bits and this stops my armpits from being gross let's move on to something less disgusting body 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 stuff now i got my glossy box a vegan one a couple of days ago and i've used this every day 
and it's the original source uh, foaming shower gel and oh my goodness this is amazing I made a mistake the first time I used it I was like <laughs> and did like this blob in my hand and it just goes <sighs> and like puffs up so big it turns to a mousse but the smell is incredible it's vegan it's cruelty free um and I think it's got it says how many washes are in here 35 showers I am having to hide it from Ben because he will steal it because he is a shower gel thief but I really really love this this combined with this from anatomicals um which is the seven deadly skins melon body scrub wow like amazing I was having because I got sunburnt every time I was washing I was just having loads of dead skin come away um and I've been using this to exfoliate and then just washing with this for the last couple of days and they just seem to work really nice together and my bathroom smells amazing afterwards because this is melon this is lemon and lime it's just like a cocktail of deliciousness in my shower yeah um then finally not finally nearly finally we're gonna move on to hair care I'm gonna go through these quite quick because there is a lot since having my hair blonde I have been using these shampoos every time I need to wash my hair is the Provoke Liquid Blonde Colour Care Shampoo shampoo with light reflecting particles and the Colour Care Conditioner with Keratin Complex. Um, these were really affordable. I got them from Boots and they seem to be doing a really nice job of looking after my hair. It doesn't feel dry. I have been using a hair mask but I want to use it a few more times to make sure it works for my hair before I put it in my favourites. Um, also, once a week, been using, again this is Pro Provoke is the um, brand and it's the Touch of Silver shampoo and conditioner. This is the toning shampoo and conditioner. Uh, my hairdresser advised only doing this once a week um, and really rinsing it out well. And it's definitely uh, working. I really love the colour of my hair at the moment. I am going to be going blonder soon. But in the meantime, I'm really happy with how it is at present. And then finally, again, because it's gone blonde now, she said I needed to use lots and lots of heat protection. So I've been using my Beauty Protector um, spray. This is so nearly empty. I was just on Instagram doing a live and I was saying to someone, this is literally my only empty at the moment. It's just amazing. It smells incredible. Uh, it detangles, it protects, UV protector, seals cuticles, smooth hair, locks in colour, adds shine, weightless, non greasy, moisturising conditions for all hair types, daily use. I use it when my hair is wet and it detangles it and then it's a bit of a heat spray as well. It's like down to here, it makes me sad. So I need to buy a new one of these soon. Um, they are quite expensive so I do feel, I, do, I don't want to buy it because it is expensive but it is so good and I've used it over the last year and I love it so much. And then I've been using this Batiste Stylist Hydrate Me Oil Mist which is a protects against breakage. I've been just spraying this onto my hair before I straighten it. I think I put this in my favourites before. Instant weightless hydration helps reduce breakage by up to 50%. Smooth softens, light enough for even fine hair. Um, and I just really like it. It smells really nice. Don't eat it. I accidentally ate some the other day and it was horrible. But it's really good for your hair. And then I've only got two makeup products this month. No, three makeup products this month. Because that's literally all I've been wearing. So I've got my Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. Uh, this is in the colour soft brown i've used to use this a long time ago but they run out so fast um that's my only issue is that they run out so so quickly but it is my favorite brow pencil that's what i've got on today i'm not really darkening too much now because my hair's lighter but i really like it next up is something that i'm going to be really sad when this sample runs out ben got me i think it was ben ben got me the snowball set from mac for Christmas and obviously whenever you buy from Mac you get some samples and he got me this little sample I think it was him or his sister I'm not sure of the Mac upward lash and I usually hate rubber brushes like the little rubber brushes I normally cannot stand them but this mascara is amazing it is so lovely like like that's one coat one coat of mascara what i love it it's my new favorite so i'm gonna have to ask ben's sister when she gets discount to get you one of these is a big one because this is incredible and then finally this has definitely been in my favorites before it is the l'oreal lip paint in matte and it is in hollywood beige 
Um, my most ever watched video is about this lipstick. Um, I've got it on today. It's like the perfect summer colour. It's nude, it's coral. It feels amazing on your lips. It does wear off, but I don't really care because it's so pretty. So yeah, that was my favourites. There's two jog-ons. I'm just going to quickly do them. First is the Royals palette by Bad Habit Beauty. Um, this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I tried to film a video with this the other day and all the deeper colours, the second you try and put them on your eyes, as soon as you blend them out, the colour vanishes. It literally vanishes. Um, and I'm really surprised because I've loved every other palette I've had by Bad Habit Beauty. So it makes me sad to put this in my jog-ons. I'm going to be sending this to Diary for 40 something who is going to see what she thinks about it. And then my final item is a Body Shop lipstick. Uh, this is the Colour Crush. Um, I think it's just called Colour Crush. And I love the colour. It's a really pretty colour. It's a really lovely nude. But it tastes fucking horrible. It, the, it smells like plastic and it tastes disgusting. So, yeah. That makes me sad because the colour is so pretty. So, yeah. That was my favourites and some jog ons for June 2018. Let me know what your favourites and jog ons are for this month. Um... If you like these kind of videos give this one a thumbs up you should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys